Hi fellow traders, what's happening? Well, today was not a good day for me. Uh, the market just did not have any volatility in it. Uh, none of the stocks were moving the way I needed them to move so that I could make some money. Uh, just too choppy, too spready. Um, I gave a couple of stocks an opportunity, but just didn't work out. And I recognized that and I shut it down early. You know, when I went to lunch, that was it. Now I stayed engaged. I kept looking to see if we were gonna have any type of tradable event. You know, if the the Fed guy, if he was gonna say something that the market reacted to, or um I forgot something else came out today, but nothing really happened. We did not get any type of movement or tradable movement so i just had to stay on the sidelines but i learned my lesson and you know i've said this before wall street is built on the souls of those who did not learn their lesson until it was too late and the lesson is not every day is a tradable day for you you know i have my strategies I have the things that I like to do in the market and not every day the market is receptive to it. If there's no volatility, I can't make money. I have to wait until I can get some volatility or I find one stop that has news that's moving. And it's not hard to find those. That's why we have scanners. But some days like on a Friday, it's, you're just not going to see it. So, you know, I, I accept that. I know this is part of trading, uh, but there are a lot of new traders, and I have to fight with them to just chill, to just wait. If it's not there, don't force it. Just because it's looking good, if I'm telling you there's no, not a whole lot of volatility, I doubt if the stock's going to move unless something actually happens. Don't jump in it. Now, if you're already in the trade, stay in it. Don't jump out of it. Okay, I'm saying later on, don't take any new trades. But if you do take a trade, just stay in it until it proves you're wrong. And I'm going to show you an example today. I had a... Uh, a trader I was mentoring with uh, we met at 12 o'clock and I'm gonna show you what happened with, with that but just remember you know guys if it's not your day if the day doesn't feel right come back tomorrow it'll be fine tomorrow or sometimes it may be two or three days and you know, then it comes back around. But just be patient and let the market come to you. Um, This is the last weekend that I'm going to have this special offer up. I've got a couple of special offers. The annual membership is a $300 discount on it. It's $299 versus $599. The lifetime membership, which includes everything, you never have to pay another dime. I don't sell my courses and as I do new courses, they just, they're just added to the list. And it's not that they're not worth anything. According to the IRS, my courses, my content's worth 12 grand. So that's the value that you're getting. I'm not selling them. I feel that it should be part of the membership and I'm not in this to try to sell courses and make all this money i did i was selling them at one time because that's what i was advised to do and then i got a new attorney and he's like no you don't need you do what the hell you want to do all you need to do is ha have a value for it and that's what i got so it's not that these courses are not worth anything they're worth their weight in gold i've now, I don't have a million dollars in profits, but I have made over a million dollars doing this same stuff. You know, you know what taxes do. So 
I'm still a little ways away from saying I had put a million dollars in the bank, but it's it's worth its weight in gold. So the lifetime membership is five hundred dollars off of that. Normally twelve ninety nine is seven ninety nine. You get everything. Everything is all access. Every membership is all access. I don't withhold anything from you. Um, but with the lifetime membership, you do get an hour of mentoring time as long as you're with me. As long as that lifetime membership is activated as long as you want it to be. As long as I live or as long as I'm still sane. Now, if I'm in the, you know, happen to go insane and they put me up, you know, that it might not be worth anything, but I don't plan on that happening anytime soon. So it's for as long as we both shall live. And you do get a mentoring session uh, every month if you so need. Um, the last special is, this is the roadmap special. This is what we've had um, pop up periodically. This is six months access. But it's 249 but you get an hour mentoring a month. You can break it up into four 15-minute sessions where we meet once a week, two 30-minute sessions where we meet twice a month, or one one-hour session. Now, again, I limit these because I know how many people I can work with. So once it, once I get too many, I have to pull it down. Uh, fortunately, I didn't get filled up last week, um, but we're closed now. Because for you members, if you're already a member, you can use what you've already paid and upgrade to a lifetime membership. So some of you guys have taken advantage of that. But this is going away. It's going to disappear as soon as it gets filled. So just wanted to let you know it will run up. But regardless, it's going away Sunday night. And then going forward, we're just going to be focusing on nailing some trades. Now, here's a trade that uh, one of my uh, mentees, he was in this. Okay. And he asked me in chat and we were talking about this and I told him, yeah, this is a nice rejection here. Um, but I wouldn't get in it unless it broke the low because too often it will not break the low. It'll come down. You end up putting in a higher low and it starts pushing back through this. So I always say the, the, the smart thing to do is to wait for it to break the low, but you got to pay attention to this 88, 66 level, you know, would you be okay taking profit here if it got stopped? But, you know, I guess he didn't pay attention to it at that point. It ended up getting in a little bit late. Uh, I think he was about 20, 25 cents too late. And if he had got in when he was supposed to, this would have been a nice profit target here to at least take some off. But, you know, obviously he couldn't here because it was just too close. So you had to, um, you know, hold out for it to break. And so, you know, this bounced and bounced and we met at 12 o'clock. And so at 12 o'clock, this is what it was looking like. And I told him, you know, you did a good job. This is ideally, this is where you want your, your stop. So you want to go in with small enough size to allow yourself to put your stop up here at the high of this previous bounce. Because if it bounced over this, trade's dead. Okay, you take it off. But it never did make it up there. And you can see we were making um, lower highs. Ever so slightly, but it was lower highs. Here we made a higher low. And had this thing broke, it probably would have taken it off. But it didn't. It Again, it made a lower high. And we came back through. And I know this was tedious and tedious, 
And when it came down here, he texted me, well, not texted me, sent me a, a message and said, it's bouncing, it's, it's double bottoming, I'm getting out. And before I could answer him and tell him, Yo, why the hell are you going to get out when you've held this thing for like two hours and it's trending down? And remember, if you watch some of the class and you looked at some of my recaps this week, I told you about taking a step back, looking at the trend. If you sit back and look at this trend, this thing is trending down. There's no reason to bail out of this. And so he bailed out 30 minutes later. Look at what happened. You know, 30 minutes later, look at what happened. I mean, the bottom fell out of this thing. So he missed it and he's sick and he, he should be sick because we just talked about this. Um, but having the process in place, having his mentoring process in place, you know, he knows now, hey, I should have listened. Now I know what to look for. It's a clear, it's clear as day. So, you know, I feel sorry for him, but th this would have made his day. This would have made his whole weekend. All right, so on Sunday, what I'm thinking about doing is doing this class live after we do our market analysis and swing watch list session. I'm thinking about doing it live then because um, it'll be good for you guys to be able to ask me questions. So I'll be streaming it live. As far as I know, I'm going to do it Sunday. Um, should kick off about 10 o'clock, 10, 10, 15. Uh, unless something changes, but we're going to talk about the hot buttons and, you know, how I developed them and all that good stuff. And this is what it looks like now. And I'll explain all of that, you know, how I've got it set up and why I have it the way I do. And, um, you know, it'll make more sense. So Sunday, I think I'm, I plan on doing this Sunday. All right. So today, here's what we're looking at um, on the spot. This is what we looked at last week, uh, how we were trading in this channel. And it did come back on Monday, but it got up on Tuesday. And yesterday, we had a nice gap. And I told you, I'm not looking for any swing trades until we get, unless we bounced and got over this this week. But it came on Thursday. And this is exactly why I don't jump in swings on Thursday. Because look at, look at what happened in the market today. This is a joke. This is absolutely no volatility, period. None. Now, yeah, it moved up and down. If you're watching a five-minute chart, three-minute chart, two-minute chart, yeah, it moved up and down. But how far? It didn't move at all. So my stocks that I like to trade practically did the same thing. They didn't really move. It didn't give me an opportunity to make a trade or to make money trade. So we're going to keep an eye on this. You know, as I thought that if we did gap over this, uh, we would make a run for the 52 week high. And that's what we're looking for. Now I'll use the spy to gauge the market on most of the stocks I trade. Well, all of the stocks I trade are part of the S and P 500. And the SPY is an ETF for the S&P 500. And I can relate to the SPY better. So that's why I watch it. All right, so today, here's the first mess up. It worked. 
I did take profit here, but somehow I bought again and I just kind of held, it came back and dipped below break even. You know, I had locked in some profit. I don't know how much it was, but, and this was holding the VWAP. So I was like, as long as this thing holds, I'll be fine with it. You know, it's holding VWAP, the nine, the 20 was coming up. And we just got a dip that caused too much pain. So I had to take it off. I didn't have any choice but to take it off. But I wasn't getting back in this because I did not like the way the market was feeling. I didn't like the way this thing was going. So I got out of it and kind of washed my hands of it. And it really did, It eventually it did make a move up, but it was so choppy and messy. It, it's not what I like to trade. It's not the market or the price action that I like to trade. So I managed my risk, um, $160 loss on it. Not bad, that's managing my risk. So we moved on. Now Facebook, we made this big sell off. We had a bounce here. I'm looking for the trend continuation. I waited for it to break the low here and I got in on it and nothing. Evidently, somebody didn't want it to leave this level and it ran back up. Now, eventually it came back down and went through this, but you know, by then I was done for the day. After this, I was done. It was over for me. Nothing set up, nothing I felt good about, so I shut the thing down. I mean, it didn't make sense to, to try and, and sit here and enforce anything so i moved on and so that was my day minus 373.78 and i ended the week on a red note but the week the week is green i almost squeaked the grand out it was a short week you know monday was a holiday tuesday we didn't have a whole lot of volatility tuesday and i struggled a little bit uh wednesday was okay. This could have easily been a $600 day, but I did get stopped out twice in the midst of um, trading that stock. But 347, 53 wasn't bad. Yesterday was the big day with PANW. Uh, and we did, and two of those trades were live on YouTube. So you can go back and actually watch those. I did a live stream yesterday morning. And if you haven't seen it, you can go watch it. You can see how I found it, um, how I scanned it, built my watch list, and how I set up the trade that stock. And then the day, no good. So starting the month off 9-19-68, we are over 30 grand. I essentially hit it last month. I only missed it by like a dollar and some change. So rounding up. I did hit it, so I'm happy. I tried to mess myself up last week, but I finally hit it. So here's the equity curve. We're still heading in the right direction. Um, probably we'll get a pullback here pretty soon, um, but I'm not looking forward to it. You know, I may have another slow week or so, but it's all about being consistent doing the same thing every day, day in and day out, regardless of whether you hit a losing streak, that's gonna happen, that's part of the business. Just like you have winning streaks, you're gonna have losing streaks. And that, that's just the way it is. And we have to accept it, take the good with the bad, take the bad with the good, and keep on trucking. All right, so that's gonna do it for me this week. Um, don't forget guys, Sunday, Sunday morning at nine o'clock, we'll be in, in the, in the room doing our market analysis, building the swing trade list. And after that, I'll do, the plan is to do the class on hot buttons, kind of show you how I've got it programmed, why I have it the way I have it and, and how I use it. 
because it 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 worked good all week this week so i think i've got everything ironed out so i can share it with you guys so until then you guys have a safe weekend and help and pray for my game cops that they do good tomorrow because i had given my tickets up and i had to quickly retract them because I've, I've been excited to see what um, these two other quarterbacks can do. So I got to go see that. But you guys take it easy. Have a great weekend. And I'll catch you next week.